real party, folks. Get it going, baby. You discover the place where life imitates art, and art imitates life. Stop. Welcome to the PAA Podcast, broadcasting live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Rumble, and Kick. Want exclusive and early content? Join our Patreon at watchtheshow.us and become one of our devoted games. Plus, you can actively participate by going to jointheshow.us or following the link in the chat. Embrace the vibrant PAA Podcast community as we embark on riveting conversations and thought-provoking discussions. Don't miss out together and be part of the action at watchtheshow.us. Join us now and immerse yourself in the world of PAA Podcast. Hmm. What is up, Daves? It's Saturday and you know what that means. You're watching the number one American podcast in the world. We are a free speech organization. I have a problem, dude. What? What's your problem? We're in the live stream (laughs) pre-show and this thing is going, oh, oh. Uh, I might. I don't know if that's going to be a problem. Maybe if people are smart, they'll figure out how to get it for free instead of having to go to uh, watch the show. Us. We got. Uh, we got a boot. We got booted off of the YouTube for a week because um, we got a community guideline strike because we were spreading misinformation about uh, certain certain diseases and whatnot. And uh, there's there's subtle ways and nuanced ways to go about those that maybe an attorney would understand. But I guess playing the clip of whatever Joey was saying wasn't really paying attention to the content. Even though it got, goes out on Facebook, for some reason on YouTube, it gets going. It got us a full week off. Is Joey on YouTube? Uh-uh. No. And and I think we were going to talk about, uh, maybe we'll talk about it later, about how him and 17 are, broke up. Well, the feds are usually allowed to spread their disinformation freely. Right. That's what I was thinking is like, it goes out on Facebook. Why is it not a problem there? And then we watch it, do commentary over it, and YouTube hits the roof. Uh, I mean, you got to like, all right, we got popped for you get popped every time I play copyrighted music. Who's still Uh, fighting for COVID to like be a thing? Joey Gilbert is still like, no, I mean, on the other side side of that, yeah, like, no, it's real, dumbass people, dude. I got a friend on Facebook that's a chef and he's got a brand new mask, bro. And I shit you not, man, I got a (laughs) screen grab of it and I feel bad, man, because I like the dude. But it's literally a clown mask, bro. And I just want to be like, if I put this on Twitter, if I put this in Clown World uh, thread, it's yeah. it's on. You know what I mean? So I'm like, no, nah, man, I'm not going to do that to the guy. But mm-hmm. he's so psyched, bro. He got a mask that and, and people are just digging at him in his comments. I just left it alone. You know what I mean? I, I mean, like do, the guy. Do you think people are nostalgic about kind of staying at home? Dude, the kids are starting to wear him again, man. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it just. Do it every couple of is years it, and shit. I mean, like a it was pretty amazing, actually. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. spending four twenty at home, no work. Yeah, it was great. I mean, it's not sustainable, but um, no, it sure. I mean, you you do the time. You don't let the time do you. You know what I mean? So, like, I went back to school. I got PAA resuscitated. Like, I took advantage of COVID. So it's what you got to do. If they do it to us again, if it fucking happens again, then figure out a way to like somehow leapfrog and get ahead of these fuckers. It's just you know? get stronger somehow. Yeah. Huh. Um. Let's here. Let's see. Let's test this out real quick. I'm gonna play this. Um. And I want to see if yeah, this guy right here. I am Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. Today's agenda promises a roller coaster of emotion and inspiration. From untold tales of courage to groundbreaking discoveries, we'll embark on a riveting journey. Get ready to be captivated as we dive into the depths of human triumph and unravel the mysteries that lie ahead. Let's ignite the flames of curiosity and unlock the extraordinary. What's in the notes? Bob rocks. <laughs> What's in the What's notes? In the notes? <laughs> Oh, man. Here we go. Google Keep. Blue. Yeah, I know. Oh, so I figured out my internet thing. Here, You want to you hear some uh, some technical specs? So here's what I had to do. 
<clears throat> the Wi-Fi router is way to hell across the house in the garage. I think I've discussed this before. <clears throat> but the PC is hooked up to the Ethernet. The PC is weak sauce as far as like hosting, but it's got a little, you know, uh, hotspot inside of it. Turned on the hotspot, checked it before and after, way faster on the hotspot because it's right beside the PC. So now this yes. this little MacBook is... So you turned your old computer into a router. Basically, yeah. And and I produce on him too, you know what I mean? It's still a producing deck. It's still rocking two screens and everything, but it just, uh, I don't know, man, it, it starts whining when you, uh, <laughs> when you try and demand too much. It's kind of like me. Uh, all right, here, let me check out the notes. We do have a thing to play too. Same old stuff from Patreon. If you go to Patreon, you'll find the link to the, the show. Watch the show.us. Bunch of people, dude. I'd pay five dollars a month to watch Steve Sanson stuff for sure, man. If he was on Patreon, um, I got a video from him here in a second, or more than that. Uh, let's see, bring the king to the thing. Oh, still want to talk about the fake Trump merch grifters. I'm sure we're going to see a bunch of those. Haiti Kasama and CD3. I talk about her like endorsing Democrats and why she did it, and everybody's mad, whatever. Um, Stephanie Phillips is always in the notes because she's running for Senate and she's a silly person. Uh, veterans of politics taking what's, me down a notch. That's from a while back. And there's still your going. problem with Phillips, man. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that here in a second. I'll play that. Um, Joe Michael, bad consultant. You know what's funny? Joe Michael is not the worst consultant now because uh, he He's actually up. he listened to his client and uh, wised up. Exactly. Uh, Smart. Yeah. Thanks whereas. Not up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. His GPA went up for sure. Uh, oh, my God. I watched a bunch of Pushing the Limits. I think I said to watch. Oh, he had a fake Vivek impersonator on the phone. Uh, it was oh. it was lame. But when he had uh, Bigelow on, I think I wanted to catch the ass end of it or maybe. Bigelow? Uh, no, not Alan Bigelow. The one that's got a uh, no. um, the one that's got a mug shot and is running in 85. Oh, not Skinwalker Bigelow. No, 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 not that one. No, but actually, there's a there's a video I want to show for veterans in politics later. It's like a, a supercut of all their best uh, interviews and stuff. And if you just go to the end of it, it has like uh, Brian Shapiro talking about AM radio as his therapy. And I was like, oh, like, oh, I see. yeah, like usually just like everything, I catch the beginning and the end of something and I get some real nuggets. So when we go to veterans in politics, we'll have to. Have to check on that. Uh, maybe, maybe that's why everyone's psychotic is because everyone on media is going through therapy. Well, they call it therapy. And they're, they're doing and, and they're forcing the the public to participate in their therapy. Yeah, so it's Force. driving everyone mad. <laughs> uh, let's see, we're not allowed to talk about Michelle Mortensen. American happens. Um, did Gilbert leave? Yeah, we already talked about that. Oh, Gianna quit. Didn't talk about that last week. She's what? not. There's no state national show anymore. It's got a new name. They lost their two not their two headliners. Yeah, well, I don't know if she's quitting, quitting, or just changing the show. I think she fell out with the state national people. It's it's at the end of or the beginning of the episode. We're talking about like state national is no more. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Joey gets the channel struck. I can just take that out right now because that's what happens. He's got no nuance. Spencer Gear loves men and hauling gear. Watch the. <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah. Uh, I watched the whole episode, bro. He he talked about men a lot, and apparently, I I just put it in the notes. Watch the ending, which means. So, this what was this this Liberty Awards that everyone met everyone at, and why were uh, we not there? I don't know. Um, I feel like I feel like the grifters are just grifting hard. Well, the feds have money for prizes. Like I'd like a title belt. You know what I mean? Like I make, you know, pictures of a, a wrestling belt, but I don't have money for that kind of shit. These clowns do. They throw award shows for each other. That's why, you know, I mean, fucking here, man. Best award show in the game right here. Play by our own fucking rules, you know what I'm saying? Fucking there. We just got a poppy, dude. A poppy nomination for, for us. Number one American <laughs> podcast. Um. Something, what is this in the wild? I'm not sure what I saw. Maybe America happens. Was, I don't know. We'll get to it. Uh, WWDB TV, they're back up doing stuff because it's about Halloween and their production's not great. But 
I don't want to dunk on it too much. It's just weird because all these wrestlers are dying and, and all of a sudden WWDB has a bunch of shows about wrestling. And Chismar's never heard of these guys. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, like Chismar should be connected with these guys. They're kind of in the same realm as him. But I've been watching a lot of Chismar stuff too, dude. Not his stuff, but like there's this guy named Patrick Melton who like up until – Chismar mentioned him. I didn't, I heard his name a few times, like in the dabble verse and shit, but him and Chismar go back a little bit. Like he did several episodes where he was just constantly dunking on Tim. And I'm like, good <laughs> God, like people think I'm mean. And then they don't realize there's a guy, like it's a whole world of people. Like this guy is just a stand-up comedian, uh, Patrick Melton. He lives here in Las Vegas. He's a fat guy. And uh, the people in the dabble verse have the kind of money where, there's a guy, um, I can't remember his name now, um, but he super chats uh, ridiculous sums of money. Mm. So somebody speculated that he has the kind of money where these podcasters are basically his pets, his toys. <laughs> so uh, this guy, Melton, challenged him. He's like, yeah. you you know, you want us to like get in a tub for they they got each got a thousand dollars, him and this guy Chad Zumach to get in the pool. Uh they both did it with no shirt on, you know, they covered up their fat tits and everything. It's not what everybody paid for, and, and they got they got paid a grant, right? So Patrick Melton is like, um, you know, why don't you have us fly somewhere? I'll show up at this guy's house or that guy's house. you know, you arrange it, and he's like, get a go back together. Oh so so it's on, yeah. And and Chismar is kind of part of that universe, which is wild. Uh, I comment as Chris Dyer in there. I don't comment as PAA podcast. I'm not trying to drag us into the dabble verse or anything like that. Mm. So I did kind of when I tweeted that uh, interview with um, Fatel, Mitch Fatel. Uh, nobody cared. So there you go. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Nobody nobody really gives a shit about us. Well, we're nobody's pets. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Moose Truths, don't know, don't care. Politics on the rocks, I clicked on it, nothing there. Shad, nothing good this week. I blocked Brittany on uh Twitter, not blocked her, but snoozed her because she's just talking about football all the time. I was like, all right, delete her, let's never talk about her again. <clears throat> all right, that'll work. Gone, uh, Johnny Brew sandwich ideas is still in there. Uh, Matt Sadler, nothing new happened this week. I don't think I didn't see anything. Get rid of some of this. shit. Nephi didn't see nothing happen with Nephi this week, but we'll click on it and see what's going on. There is a new Tark video this week. That's dope. Um, that's about it, man. I'm gonna play this fucking voicemail and then what time is it? We'll just jump over. Yeah, it's, it's almost time. All right, let me play this voicemail I got on Friday. Somebody called me while I was uh um let me unshare the notes. Unsolicited call, huh? Unsolicited call while I was taking my fourth graders to lunch. Uh, I don't answer the phone anyway, <laughs> but uh, it's all good. Here's what I got to. Here's what I got to hear on my lunch break. Chris Dyer, asshole. What the fuck do you have a problem with me or Phillips? You got a fucking problem? What the fuck is your problem? I want to know. I'm your problem. Let's go fucking handle this shit. All right? I don't know why you're dragging Phillips into a little fucking problem, you asshole motherfucker. All right. So there you that's go. An, um, that's an impersonator. You think so? That sounds like an impersonator. Is it AI? I don't know. Somebody's trying to fuck with you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? We got to we got to be like allegedly, right? I only sent that to a trusted few people, no, but I, nothing's real, man. Right, right. It's from the same number of the person who yelled at me before about TK. Oh, you can spoof that though. You can spoof correct, it. Correct, correct. And it's already in my phone is what I'm saying. So if they spoofed it once, they could spoof it twice. Mm -hmm. Uh so, I don't know. Should we call that number during the show or send out a tweet or a an all call, tell Steve to go to join the show.us and uh, just, in. Yeah, tell Steve to join the show. It's about time he joined the show. All right. Uh, tell you what. Maybe Let's you see. two can settle your differences. What differences? Exactly. That. You're both military men. You both have like podcasts. I mean, you guys right. should be like best friends. I know. We have so much in common. Or he should just not take himself so seriously. That would be fine too. Uh, 
All right, I'm going to hit uh, the outro and then switch over to the uh, show, and then we'll uh, text him and invite him over. Where is it? Here we go. Introducing the Podcast Producers Guild, home to the PA at Podcast, The King Carl Show, The Johnny Brew Show, and more. Join us for captivating, thought-provoking content. Our flagship show, PAA Podcast, leads the way. We champion free speech and embrace diverse perspectives. Support us on Patreon for early access, bonus content, and a vibrant community. Shape the future of podcasting with us. Join the Podcast Producers Guild on Patreon today. Join the Podcast Producers Guild, a vibrant community celebrating audio storytelling.